The Bible says, Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, which hath loved us and hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace. You and I, as children of God who endeavor to follow the Lord Jesus Christ, to take up our cross daily, will encounter difficulty, hardship, trial, tribulation, worry, burdens, cares, difficulties. And in those moments, we may reach for something to console us, to comfort us, to encourage us in the fight. Jesus Christ, God our Father, hath loved us, the Bible says, and given us everlasting consolation. Because of Jesus Christ himself, because of God the Father's love, we have everlasting consolation. We have a source of comfort that endures. We have a source of encouragement that never ceases. We have a source of strength that flows like a spring that will never dry up. That's what God has given us. Notice the Lord says this to the Thessalonian church, a church that experienced persecution and tribulation and affronts and afflictions from their even their own countrymen. Whatever you're going through today, the world offers temporal consolation. The brethren may offer temporal consolation. But God's grace gives us hope and everlasting consolation because we know Jesus Christ loves us. We know Jesus Christ himself is coming back for us. And we know that we have the hope of eternal life living inside of us, that if the worst that happens, we lay this body down Jesus Christ himself will come back on that resurrection morning and take it up again. And to be absent from the body in the interim is to be present with the Lord. That consolation can never change. That consolation can never dull. That consolation can never lose its shine. So if you're going through something today, brush off the dust from that hope. Shake off the guilty fears and enjoy and remember the everlasting consolation that Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, have given us.